What happens when a Soviet Cold War Titan is reborn in Chinese hands, rebuilt, re-engineered, and unleashed as a ferocious modern war machine? This is not just another fighter story. This is the tale of the Shenyang J-11, a jet that transformed from borrowed Russian DNA into China's own symbol of aerial power. And if you want to explore more legends like this, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and share this video. Let's bring aviation history to the world together. The J-11, NATO name Flanker L, is far more than a copy of the Soviet Su-27. It is a fourth-generation twin-engine fighter designed to dominate airspace, intercept threats, and adapt to multi-role combat. For China's PLAAF and PLANAF, it has become a central pillar of strategy, allowing projection of power over contested zones like the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. Unlike earlier jets that were limited in scope, the J-11 evolved into a versatile guardian, equally at home dueling fighters at high altitude or striking ground and naval targets. Its journey began in 1995 with a $1.2 billion licensing deal to build Su-27s under supervision. By 1998, the first prototypes flew, but poor assembly quality forced Russian oversight. By 2003, Chinese engineers inserted local components, marking a turning point. When Beijing pivoted toward indigenous upgrades, tensions flared. Russia accused China of reverse engineering. Yet that controversy was exactly the crucible that forged China's aviation independence. The J-11 program was not just about building planes, it was about building confidence, skill, and eventually an entire aerospace ecosystem capable of standing on its own. Physically, the J-11 is a beast, 21.9 meters long, 14.7 meters across the wings, nearly 6 meters tall. With a maximum takeoff weight of 33,000 kilograms and two WS-10A Taihong engines pumping out 132 kilo newtons of thrust each, it pushes beyond its Russian ancestor. It can sprint at Mach 2.35, climb 300 meters per second, operate at altitudes over 18,000 meters, and endure plus 9G maneuvers. The range, over 3,500 kilometers, gives China reach well into the Pacific. What's more, composite airframe tweaks shaved weight and improved agility. Inside, pilots rely on modern glass cockpits that rival Western designs in user-friendliness. What truly sets it apart is electronics. Early J-11s flew with Russian radars, but the J-11B ushered in China's Type 1493 and later ESA radars. These upgrades gave it longer reach, multi-target tracking, and the ability to fight in a networked battle space. Coupled with electronic warfare pods, infrared search and track, and secure data links, the J-11 became more than an aircraft. It became a node in a larger web of power. With 11 hardpoints, it can carry everything from PL-15 long-range missiles to YJ-91 anti-ship weapons and precision-guided bombs, a loadout far beyond the Su-27's original vision. The evolution is remarkable. The baseline J-11 was essentially a Russian clone. The J-11A introduced Chinese electronics. The J-11B broke away almost entirely with indigenous engines and reduced radar signature. The twin-seat J-11BS improved training and strike flexibility, while navalized J-11BH and BSH adapted the fighter for carrier decks. The J-11D pushed further, bringing AESA radars, helmet-mounted sights, and compatibility with China's newest missiles. The story of the J-11 is not static. It's a living platform, always absorbing new upgrades. By 2000, the J-11 was flying with the PLAF, by 2019, more than 442 had been built, with even more today. It has intercepted American and Japanese aircraft over the East and South China Seas, joined massive air defense drills, and featured intense encounters that underline its role as both weapon and warning. Early years brought accidents, mostly engine-related, but continuous improvements stabilized the fleet. Now, it's a reliable backbone for Chinese air operations. To understand the J-11, you have to measure it against its peers. Compared to the Su-27 it came from, the J-11 is like a younger athlete, leaner, lighter, with better stamina thanks to composites and domestic systems. Against China's own J-10, the J-11 is the heavyweight, able to carry more weapons and cover more distance, but less agile at close range. 
Standing beside the stealthy J-20, the J-11 may look dated, yet together they form a complementary duo, one stealthy and surgical, the other powerful and enduring. Against America's F-15, the J-11 matches speed and payload, but trails in electronic sophistication. Versus the F-22 Raptor, it is simply outclassed in stealth and sensors, but also far cheaper and fielded in greater numbers. And compared to Russia's Su-35, the J-11 may lack some high-end features, yet it offers something Russia cannot. Massive domestic production at scale, ensuring China's skies are never empty. Looking forward, challenges remain. WS-10 engines still struggle with reliability compared to Western turbines. Stealth features are modest compared to fifth-generation jets, and fuel efficiency remains an issue. Yet upgrades are constant, stealth shaping, advanced avionics, tighter integration with the J-20. In the future, the J-11 may serve as the loyal heavy companion to stealth platforms, creating a layered force that blends quantity with quality. From licensed copy to national icon, the J-11 tells the story of a country determined not to borrow history, but to write it. It is part legacy, part leap forward, and it keeps the balance of power in Asia on edge. What do you think? Can the J-11 stand shoulder to shoulder with Western giants, or is it destined to play second fiddle to stealth? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel, share this episode with your friends, and keep the conversation alive. Together, we'll continue exploring the machines that shaped our skies.